And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio. Alright, we want to just, as quickly as possible, hammer out some, um, some inserters here. At least try. Try to get some inserters. Now, the crafting chain for these is a little, a little quirky. We have to start with inserters, then we have to go to fast inserters, and then we can go to express inserters. Um, that's just for the express. The long-handed express needs fast long-handed, which needs long-handed, which needs an inserter. So we have some parallel sort of crafting chains, all based off of an inserter. So I think what I want to do is let's come down here. I'm not really worried about the bus. I want to use all the space that I have available. We have so much space down here. The bus, the bus takes up very little space compared to kind of behind the bus a little bit. So let's start with an inserter and then branch off long-handed and fast. So fast can go to express like that. So inserter, fast inserter, long inserter, and then uh, this will be express, but this has an extra step to go fast long-handed inserter. And then we can go to fast or express long-handed. Now the other inserters are a little quirkier because they require all the the middle tier and we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that because this is fast forehand we would actually have to craft all of these other ones as well and i'm not really concerned with that i really like the express long and the express standard inserter so let's figure this out here um, let's uh, first grab a few of those and a few of those and we're going to need some raw material and I missed a couple raw material chests here. So these are pretty straightforward. Again, the 0.5 crafting time allows us to use strictly productivity modules, which is awesome. This allows us to really be able to use just a ton of material. So let's just copy and paste this. These are going to produce really fast, so we want a little bit of a buffer. So let's paste all of this stuff. I might even have some inserters in storage somewhere. That, yeah, see, we're pulling in some fasts. Uh, I might actually be putting those into a chest somewhere, so let's cancel that. Um, so yeah, we have, we have a few inserters. Uh, so uh, I don't think I'm putting those into a chest. We just had some laying around in storage somewhere, which is fine. So let's just increase these. Okay, that's too many. Didn't think it was going to jump that high. Okay. See if we can increase these a little bit. Ooh, a little, some pretty advanced stuff here. And the last one. All right. These are already limited. These are good to go. 
So it's time to power everything up. There we go. And this one's done. <laughs> that is how fast that is. That is crazy how fast that is. So now we've got inserters. And express long-handed. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, but might as well take a stack just in case. Okay, now, now that we have inserters, we've got power poles, we already have Mark IV Robo ports. Now we need to figure out what the spacing is for our Robo ports because I want to be able to build the blueprint and get the next Robo port within the construction range because if it's not in the construction range, um, it won't actually build it. So the green, that green highlight basically comes all the way to the end here. Because I have bots on me, um, this is kind of a tedious, tedious thing to do. Um, let's grab these bots will run out, grab all that stuff for me. So allow me to sneak out and grab these. Okay, let's get um, report set up. So I want to set up this thing right along the edge. Okay, so where is the edge? The edge is basically kind of right, right here. So in between these two is the edge, basically. So I want to make sure the RoboPort that I place is on that edge. Because if it's not, it won't actually place it when I make a blueprint for it. So I can place it right here, but I don't think the blueprint will catch it. So I want to pull that in a little bit. Put the robo port there. Now we need to set up power. So let's set up power with a substation, a big thing here, and let's just, these have such a wide range. Now let's uh, set up the um, we've got biters that appeared right over here, which is not cool. Let's set up some defense first. Um, I need some turrets. I'm not sure if I have any. I do have some. So I want a requester chest first. I want two layers of defenses around this. Uh, so let's leave a space and leave a space. Like this, all the way around. I want to make sure that there's plenty of damage dealing turrets around this thing. It needs to be protected. I'm not going to worry about walls because if they get close enough, these things, these things can actually do quite a bit of damage. So I'm not too worried about that. I just want this to be well protected. Now I need to introduce a chest for ammo. And let's give it like 400 ammo. And now we can use inserters to distribute the ammo. So this will be like an inner ring here.
And this can be like an outer ring. I'll put that one that way. And these can be going to the outside. Um, you need to come that way. And that way. There we go. Now we've got at least some defenses. And I can put these in my garbage so they can be taken. Now we need to actually do the same thing and stretch it out and do it again. And that way I can make a blueprint of that far one and this one. And it will create a great blueprint that I can use as long as I stick with the same build uh, style. So I do want to um, get rid of these enemies here. So let's grab some turrets. There's a lot of, a lot of biters in there. Spiders and worms and there we go. Well, now, now that we've got this roll apart, I can clear some of these giblets out of here, which is nice because there are many of them out here. And you know, part of me just wants to get rid of my s ridiculous robots that I've got so I, I'm stop I stop actually collecting them for myself so let's continue this process as much as I can here it will aggro some robots or some uh, biters I mean I just want to get rid of as many of these giblets as I can See how it's kind of a test here to see if this is enough firepower. Because it might not be enough. And another thing that I could put in here are charging pads. Because I do have those being crafted. And I swear I had some on me. Where is a charging pad? There they are. I could put a charging pad here and here. And that will help because all of these, I might even need some more of these just because I've got a lot of robots, a lot of robots here. I kind of even want to uh, do this. Break it, rebuild it. It has to charge back up again, but it gets rid of all of that, that queued up mess that's there. And they skipped these charging pads because it broke the uh, connection. But that does a great job of clearing the giblets out of this war zone here. I really don't want all these giblets. I don't want to be collecting these as I walk around. So it's nice to be able to get rid of them. And these roboports have such an extensive range that it's a, be a shame not to use it. Clean it up a little bit. Now that the corpses have gone away, you can actually see a little bit of what's going on. Now we're really using these charging pads, which is a good sign. Power, yeah, we're, we're using a lot of power, but... Uh, it's all in the right place. See how fast it charged all those compared to like what this one is doing? It's charging these so fast. Oh, that's nice. Okay. 
Looks like our uh, firepower is doing okay. Let's go venture out here. See what we can see. Um, I think we're just about... All the biters don't know what's going on with all these flying things. Clear them all out. Go, biters, go. They just don't know what's going on. That's awesome. I like confusing the biters. And these aren't even the fastest bots. The, the, the top of the line bots are crazy fast. Um, but these are, these are doing pretty good. I don't know how much need I have for the top tier bot. These have been doing pretty well. It's a lot of bots to upgrade if I did, if I did upgrade them. So yeah, there's a whole lot of giblets around. Okay, now we want to set up another one of these and make sure it's in range. The only other thing that needs to be in range is the RoboPort because if the RoboPort isn't in range, uh, then it won't actually build the two that I need. So let's, uh, I know my line thanks to the the giblets. So let's look at where my line is here. That's looks about right, right here. Let's walk out here. So it disconnects there. Let's uh, keep it within the border. Build it again. Again, we want to specify the same sort of design. And I want to be able to build it. Uh, let's grab some construction robots. And I, for some reason, have a whole bunch of logistics robots. So I want to copy this design exactly and build it over here. Now, it won't actually completely finish right away. This will build what I have and uh, the other bots um, are building everything else. So all the bots will come in, build everything else. I do need those chests though. I cannot forget about the chests. Okay. So let's uh, put this right there is a good spot. So that charges up that robo port, which actually powers everything else, which expands the range. And that's what I'm going for. I want these little outposts out here not only to be defendable, but also um, allow me to expand pretty fast. So now here comes the ammo, which will get distributed and then replenished. So 400 ammo looks like it filled everything plus the it left a little bit left. So that's good. So now we have a little outpost out here, but that'll have to do it for this episode. We're now expanding our robot range and defending our new territory. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.